Welcome to this integrated math one practice test for 10 ready or TCAP, whatever. We're on question number 14, subpart 2, so we can use a calculator here. Question says one end of a metal spring is attached to a ceiling, the other end of the spring hangs down. So you've got your ceiling up here and your springs hanging down there. Blue, 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 blue. I'm a great drawer of springs, obviously. And I'm going to clip little weights onto them. And it'll pull it further and further to the floor as I add more weight because, you know, gravity reasons. The table displays the length of the spring when different masses are tied to the end of the spring that hangs down. How much longer does the spring become with each extra kilogram of mass that is tied to it? So what they're asking about really here is change. How much does it change? Specifically, what is the rate of change? So I'm looking for the change in the dependent variable versus the change in the independent variable, I mean overrided by the change in the independent variable. This is not supposed to be a triangle, it's supposed to be th the uh, Greek letter delta, which would represent change. So, uh, Or you could just say y is change over x change. So really we're doing kind of a slope question. This one's a little tricky because it's really easy to see that the change is 0.1 each time. And to dive all over that train, yeah, it's 0.1. But over here, they're changing 2 every time. That's where they get you. They want you to jump on C as the choice to uh, ride home with, but that's don't fall for their tricks. So if I'm doing the change in the dependent, and why is it the dependent variable, by the way, uh, versus the independent? Well, the independent is I can pick whatever mass that I want, and then the amount that it stretches is what I'm measuring. So generally the thing that you're measuring during the experiment is the dependent thing. Like I can pick any string, any mass that I want, uh, now, if I was trying to choose the length of the spring and then I had to pick, uh, or I would find out what mass led to that or something, I don't know why you would do it that way, but you, I guess you could, it would change that relationship. Anyway, the change in dependent is 0 0.1, and the change in each dependent variable, or independent variable, I should say, is 2. So 0 0.1 divided by 2, and this is a calculator section, so you don't even really have to think that it's something other than 0 0.05 because it is and that would be centimeters so B is the correct answer for number 14 that's it the only real tricky part is to make sure that just because this one seems like it's going up by the same amount and it you know likely will in this case because this is math one tends to be focused on linear things uh, make sure that you have a feel for uh, what the y value is, or what the, uh, sorry, the x values are doing, or the independent variables. Make sure you pay attention to that change as well. And don't just go for the easy answer in the beginning, because it might be the wrong one.